and shall what? Kill you. And they will kill you. If you believe in Christ, you're gonna die. Straight up. That's how you know if you believe in Christ or not. Anybody trying to curse you out? Anybody trying to spit at you? Anybody throwing things at you? Anybody calling you the devil? Anybody doing that to you lately? Or everybody like, praise you, praise Jesus, you, hallelujah. They telling you that? If they don't hate you, then you in the wrong religion. You're in the wrong place in your life right now. Ready? And ye shall be hated for all nations for my name's sake. And we will be what? Hated from all nations for my name's sake. And we will be hated by every nation, meaning our nation and every nation outside of the children of Israel. We'll be hated. And that's fine. I still love Caucasians, just like they're my brothers. Still love Arabs, even though they hate me. But they don't take away from the fact that I'm a child of Israel. I still love you. But that don't mean that that what I'm doing is wrong because I know who I am. What's wrong with knowing who you are? Malcolm X asked the same question. Who taught you to hate yourself, man? Who did that? What's wrong with knowing who you are and where you come from? Read on. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And many false prophets is gonna come about. And I can tell that from the, from the churches, man. Bro, hold that for a second. Give me 1 Corinthians 1 and 12. Uh, where you at? What verse you at? Alright, hold on. Let's see. With all these churches out there, what's going on with all these churches? How come there's so many churches and no righteousness? Read that for me. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12. Now this I say, that every one of you say it. I am of Paul. That's what Christians say. I follow Christ, but Paul said, read. And I of a of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. But I'm of Christ. Read. Is Christ divided? Is what? Is Christ divided? I gotta ask that question to the Christians. Is Christ divided? With all these churches up there, you go up the block to the YMCA. Seven churches on one block I counted one day. It's probably more. Right across the street from a Masonic temple. Is Christ divided? Which church is Christ going to? Is he splitting himself up into seven ways and walking into every church and blessing everybody? There's only one church, and it is not a building. It is the people. The people are the church. You can have a church set up across the street. If nobody don't go into it, it's just a building with a cross on it. That's it. The church is the people, man. So stop going to church like that's where church is. This is church. We open up, put, turn the mic on, open up the Bible, church. I don't need no building. Where the Most High gonna dwell? Where's the Most High gonna dwell? Something made with man hands? The earth is his footstool, and the heavens is his throne. You think, you think Christ coming down and walking in your churches? Let me tell you, let me reveal something to you. And a lot of you are gonna say no, right? But if Christ would've came in our time and walked on this earth right now, you would kill Christ. Every Christian would line up to stone him. Y'all would call him a devil. Y'all would say that he's harassing you. You would call him a Satanist. What? A terrorist. Because he don't believe in the government. And he don't believe in religion. Show me one religion in the Bible. If anybody can show me one religion in the Bible, one denomination out the Bible, I will pay your rent. I'll pay two months. Right now. Come and show me a Pentecostal. Come and show me a Catholic, a Protestant, a Seventh-day Adventist, a Jehovah's Witness. Show me one. Show me a Lutheran. Show me a Baptist or a spiritual Baptist. Show me an Episcopalian. Show me a Mormon. In the Bible. So if you have something that is outside the Bible, I shouldn't have to say this. You're not following Christ. Following the devil. The devil said that I will be like God. That's what he said. I will make myself like God. And now Christians go to church on Sunday and follow the sun God and tell me every day is the Sabbath day. Show me in the Bible where it says every day is the Sabbath day. I'll pay your rent. What scripture is that? Hey man, every day is the Sabbath day. I worship Jesus every day. Congratulations, I do the same thing. But it don't say every day is the Sabbath day. We in the Sabbath right now, do y'all know that? Your pastor taught you that right now the Sabbath has begun? And people getting ready to go out to the club. 
people getting ready to get their check cashed and go spend money tomorrow on the Sabbath day and not keep it holy. But if you understood that, grab me, grab me Isaiah 59. 15, yeah, 58, excuse me. Call the Sabbath day delight. It's time for us to realize that we've been lying to, man. And let me show you something. Let me just do the simple math of this. If you believe that Christ died Good Friday, right? And rose Easter Sunday when bunny rabbits lay eggs. Friday, Good Friday night to Saturday night is one day. Saturday night to Sunday night is two days. And we know according to scripture, Christ in the ground three days. <laughs> Bless you, bro. What's up, bro? So we know that Christ was in the ground three days, man. You can't get three days between Friday and Sunday. Sure, bro. Genesis. Now I don't want you to tell me. Show me the Bible where it says one day is a whole day. So we still in the first day of the of the, of the creation? When does the day end? Okay. So you're saying two things here. Now, but what okay. I'm trying to say to you, okay. Okay. No way. But you just told me that the day ends at night. I mean, begins at night. Let's get it in Genesis. So how come you don't know Christ rose on the side? Get Matthew 28. Get Matthew 28 and 1. You're not arguing me. You're arguing with the Bible, brother. So do you want me to read the Bible? I'm not going to interpret it. You do it for me. You explain the scripture to me, all right? Because I got it wrong. Read it. Matthew chapter 28, verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath. At the what? In the end of the Sabbath. At the what? In the end of the Sabbath. Right. As it began to dawn toward the first day of the week. What's the first day of the week? So at the end of the Sabbath. As it began to dawn at the first day of the week. And the other Marys to see the sepulchre. So, what they do? They came on Sunday to see the sepulchre? Yes. Okay. Give me verse 5 when they're talking to the angel. Verse 5. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here. He just resurrected? He is not here. Why? For he is risen. What does the word risen mean? Is that past tense or present? Past tense. So at the end of the Sabbath, he was gone already. Yes, he was already resurrected. So he didn't rise the on a Sunday. In the, on the, in the early part of the day. Of what As day? It began to dawn towards the first day. Of so the what day, day did he rise? Sabbath on Sunday. How? You you are confused, brother. You no, just told no, me that he resurrected no. on the Sabbath. You just said that. The Sabbath ended. The yes. Sabbath and Christ ended. was gone already. Can the we Sabbath agree on that? Ended. The first day began. Yes. But, but so Christ was gone already. Yes or no? Was Christ gone already at the end of the Sabbath? He was already, he, he, when it began to go on towards the first day of the week. He was gone yeah, already? He was resurrected. What scripture says that? Right. You just read it. When read, it read it again. Gone, read it again. Because the day begins, the day begins at sundown. So as it began? Although, but what he rose on the day part of the first day. What scripture okay. says that? At the end, that what's the end of something? What's, yo, is that the end of the block? No. What is that the end of the block? Is that the end of the block? Brother, listen, I'm gonna ignore you. You need to read the Bible 
and get out of your Satanist way of living. Stop it. Stop it. Is that the end of the block? Yes or no? Yes or no? Is that the end of the block? You are incapable of having a conversation. Read it again. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. Now, that's the end of the block. That is not the that is not the beginning of the next block. That's the end of it. That's the end of the next block. You listen, what you need to do is get a microphone and a Bible and stop acting like the Bible is in your brain. No, what you need is to investigate what I am saying. Let's let's investigate. Let's let's define the word. Let's define the word the first day of the week. Let's define it. Let's define it. I don't want to learn from Christianity. Christianity is Satanism, man. Get out of here. Get a Bible and, and teach the word and stop being a Satanist, man. Nonsense. The problem with Christians. What I need to do. I'm doing exactly what Christ said to do. What you need to do is get a Bible and stop walking around here with a bag in your hand on the Sabbath. That's what you need to do. Brother, now this brother's at the end of the block. Ask him if he's standing on the next block too. This guy over here, man. What's wrong with our people, man? Coming all this philosophy and nonsense at the end of the Sabbath. I can stand at the end of the block and still be on, yo, I can stand on Nostrin and be at the end of the block and still be on Glenwood. You don't know it. What's the, what's the word end of the week mean in Greek? What does it mean in Greek? What's that, the NIV? No. What's that, Matthew 28? I'm going to define what you said to get more understanding. Let me define it. What you need to do is to ask questions. This is the same thing. Right? So let's, let's, let's day, day of the week. What, is it, what does that say? Sabbath. What does it say? Sabbath. Sunday? Sabbath. First day? Sabbath. So what are you talking about? This is the Greek translation of the word end of the week. Sabbath. What I'm trying to say is, if I'm going to discuss a something, all I need to do is to go to this, all right? Because it will give me all the scriptural verses that correspond to the subject that I want to discuss. So look so up the word I'm mischief saying, for me. What I'm saying to Look up the word is, mischief I'm for me. I'm not going to stand here and discuss a whole thing because it takes learning. It takes learning. How long have you been learning the Bible? For a long time. How long? How many years? Ever since I was 16. And, and how come you don't know that Christ rose on the Sabbath? How come you don't know that? There's another thing you need to consider also. How many days were was Jonah in the way of What does it say? He was in here three days. Now those three days also correspond to the time Christ would also be, be in the grave. Now also, you must understand that when he was delivered into the hands of his enemies, that's also from the time he was, was taken into custody. There's no that scripture that says that. There is no scripture that says being yes. in the ground means being alive. Yes. You must be telling me you've got to understand the scripture. So Christ was in the ground. When no. he got taken captive. No, 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 you just no, said that though. No, no. Yo. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. It started counting the three days that he was in the ground. I, no, no, no. What I'm I have a low tolerance for, 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 for nonsense. I do. Is, There's no scripture that says I have to deal with nonsense. No, no. What have you done? Like, I'm really you see, you don't understand. And I understand you don't understand. Because this is the thing that I deal with. You, know, you don't deal with it. I've never seen you preach the word anywhere, brother. This is my first time seeing you on Flappers and you shopping. So what you doing here? You're, you're accusing me wrongly. I, I celebrate the Sabbath, okay? And I begin Where's the Sabbath? The Sabbath from sundown, Friday evening, because that's when the day begins. Okay. All right? And, and the scripture says, as you do for a well, should know, that the Sabbath, uh, the Sabbath is from sundown to sundown. And I'm sure you would agree with me. Listen, but, I, but listen, before you go any further, this is what I want you to understand. This is what I'm hearing from you. This is why I'm confused, okay? This is why I'm confused, before you go any further. I am confused, because you told me the first thing that came out your mouth was that the Jews view the day as one day. Then you told me that the day any begins at sundown. The then you told me... Any part of the day, anything occurs on any part of the day, yes. they consider it as a full day. 
Do you have a scripture to back that up? To back up. 